For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir's roots in artificial intelligence and data analytics go back much further than many of its competitors, which provides it with a key competitive edge in an industry where newer companies are rapidly emerging. The company's ability to stay ahead of the curve and continuously adapt its technology to meet changing market demands has made it a standout in the AI space. While many artificial intelligence companies have seen increased interest from investors in recent years, Palantir has been able to maintain its popularity due to its strong foot hold in both the public and private sectors. Its long-standing relationships with government agencies and commercial enterprises have allowed it to secure a unique position that many other companies in the same space struggle to achieve. As a result, Palantir has been a go-to stock for those seeking exposure to AI-driven software solutions, particularly those related to data integration, analytics, and decision-making support. However, Palantir's popularity has come at a cost, particularly in terms of its valuation. The consistent buying activity surrounding the stock has caused its valuation to swell to a point where it might be difficult for future returns to justify the current stock price. When a stock's valuation becomes this inflated, it often means that the market has already accounted for a large portion of the company's potential future earnings, making it harder for new investors to see significant returns. One of the reasons Palantir has maintained its prominence in the AI space is due to the fundamental nature of its software, which can be succinctly described as data in, insights out. While this description captures the essence of how Palantir systems work, it barely scratches the surface of the complexity behind its software solutions. The company's expertise lies in its ability to handle big data and provide its users with insights that would be difficult, if not impossible, to generate using traditional software tools. The origins of Palantir's artificial intelligence software are rooted in government use, with the company initially developing its platforms for military and intelligence agencies. Over time, Palantir expanded its offerings into the commercial market, where it saw an opportunity to leverage its expertise in data integration and analytics to help businesses solve complex problems. This move into the commercial segment has been a critical driver of Palantir's growth in recent years as it allows the company to tap into a much broader market beyond its government contracts. A key element of Palantir's recent success has been the launch of its latest product, the Artificial Intelligence Platform, or AIP. This platform has become a major growth catalyst for the company, particularly in the US commercial market. The Artificial Intelligence Platform enables businesses to integrate large language models, or LLMs, into their operations. These models help guide decision-making by using internal company data, which is especially important for organizations that need to maintain control over sensitive information. Many businesses are understandably hesitant to feed their internal data into an LLM owned by another company, as they could lose control over how that data is used. By offering a solution that keeps data under the company's control, Palantir's platform addresses one of the primary concerns that businesses have when adopting AI-driven technologies. One of the most innovative aspects of Palantir's artificial intelligence platform is its ability to integrate generative AI into business workflows. While many generative AI tools are used as standalone applications to enhance productivity, Palantir's platform takes this concept a step further by embedding these tools directly into the core of business processes. This integration unlocks far greater potential than simply using AI tools on the side. When generative AI is built into the systems that companies rely on for their day-to-day -day operations, it becomes a powerful enabler of efficiency, creativity, and strategic decision-making. Palantir's management team has noted that the demand for the artificial intelligence platform has been extraordinary. In fact, they have described it as unprecedented compared to the reception of other products that the company has launched in the past. This strong demand is reflected in the company's financial results, where it has shown significant growth in key areas. For example, in the second quarter, Palantir's total revenue grew by an impressive 27% year over year, reaching $678 million. This growth was driven in part by a 55% increase in U.S. commercial revenue, which rose to $159 million during the same period. These numbers highlight the company's growing presence in the commercial sector and the potential for further expansion. Despite these strong results, Palantir's current market penetration in the U.S. commercial sector suggests there is still considerable room for growth. As of now, Palantir has only 295 U.S. commercial customers, which indicates that the company has barely scratched the surface of its potential client base. If Palantir can continue to expand its customer count, 
quote, particularly among large enterprises that can afford its solutions, it could see substantial growth in the coming years. However, while the company's recent performance is encouraging, there are concerns about the broader market opportunity for Palantir. Some investors may be overestimating the size of the market that Palantir can realistically capture. One way to assess this is by annualizing the company's U.S. commercial customer revenue for the second quarter, which involves multiplying the quarterly revenue by four and dividing that figure by the total number of customers. This calculation reveals that the average revenue per customer is approximately $2.15 million. Another challenge that Palantir faces is competition from other major players in the cloud computing and software as a service markets. Many of the largest cloud providers, such as Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure, offer similar solutions that compete directly with Palantir's products. However, there is a key difference between Palantir's approach and that of its competitors. While other companies provide platforms that require developers to build custom applications, Palantir offers an all-in-one solution that takes much of the development work off the hands of its customers. This distinction means that businesses must decide whether they want to invest in building their own applications using cloud platforms or opt for Palantir's more comprehensive, ready-to-use solution. This ongoing battle between custom-built solutions and out-of-the-box software will likely continue for the next decade, with no clear winner emerging any time soon. Despite the intense competition, Palantir's stock is currently trading as if it will emerge as the dominant player in the AI software space. The company's stock is valued at an eye-popping 40 times its sales, a level that is comparable to the valuations seen during the software-as-a-service bubble that burst in 2022. Such a high valuation reflects extremely elevated expectations for the company's future growth, and any deviation from those expectations could lead to significant downside risk for investors. To better understand the lofty expectations baked into Palantir's stock price, it can be helpful to compare the company to two other major players in the tech space, NVIDIA and Adobe. NVIDIA is an obvious choice for comparison because it is at the forefront of the artificial intelligence investment trend, while Adobe is widely regarded as one of the top software companies in the world. If Palantir were able to achieve profit margins similar to those of Adobe, which stands at around 30%, compared to Palantir's current profit margins of 20%, it would be considered a highly successful successful software business. However, even with these profit margins, Palantir's valuation remains incredibly high. While the revenue growth rate required to achieve a valuation similar to NVIDIA's may seem attainable, it is worth noting that NVIDIA is currently growing its revenue at a year-over-year -year rate that far exceeds Palantir's growth rate. This makes it unlikely that Palantir will be able to match NVIDIA's valuation under current conditions. On the other hand, a comparison to Adobe's valuation seems more reasonable. However, Palantir's projected revenue growth rates for 2024 and 2025, which are expected to be 24% and 21% respectively, still fall short of the expectations that are currently priced into the stock. This disconnect between growth expectations and the company's actual performance metrics suggests that Palantir's stock may be overvalued. Furthermore, even if Palantir could achieve a valuation similar to Nvidia's, after five years of growing revenue at 21% annually, this outcome would depend on several key assumptions. First, the stock price would need to remain at its current level over the next five years. Second, Palantir would need to avoid issuing any new shares during this time. However, these assumptions are unlikely to hold true, especially given that Palantir's share count has increased by 3% over the past year. As a result, the growth rate required for Palantir to achieve a valuation comparable to Nvidia or Adobe is likely higher than what is currently projected. In summary, Palantir is undeniable undeniably a great company, with a strong track record of innovation and growth. However, the stock has surged to a point where it may have gotten ahead of itself in terms of valuation. While the company's recent financial results and product launches are impressive, investors should be cautious about the high expectations that are currently priced into the stock. Given the potential risks, it may be wise for investors to take some of their gains and look for opportunities in other areas of the market that offer more reasonable valuations. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.